Vladimir Komarov was a Soviet cosmonaut. Komarov was one of the most highly experienced and qualified candidates accepted into the first squad of cosmonauts. The Soviet Union came up with a plan to launch two spaceships, Soyuz 1, with cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, and Soyuz 2, with two cosmonauts. They were meant to dock and exchange crew members via extravehicular activity and return safely home. The Soyuz mission was meant for eventual use in lunar expeditions. The teams inspecting the spaceships found 203 problems, which were purportedly detailed in a 10-page memo. But no one wanted to alert their leader, as bad news reflected badly on the messenger. Requesting a postponement was as good as saying that the Soviet Union was not capable of the task. Komarov expressed his doubts about the mission. He said, I'm not going to make it back from this flight. On April 23, 1967, Vladimir Komarov climbed into the transfer van and set out to board Soyuz 1. The fellow cosmonauts tried to cheer him with song. Soyuz 1 launched, and it successfully entered the space. Vladimir Komarov became the first cosmonaut to fly in space twice. The trouble started almost immediately, as one of Soyuz 1's solar panels failed to deploy. Back on the ground, commanders decided to halt the launch of Soyuz 2 and attempt to bring Komarov back to Earth. For five hours, Komarov circled the Earth. He attempted to navigate home with his broken equipments and no contact with the ground control. The U.S. listening stations in Turkey picked up his distressed calls over the spotty transmissions, in which he reportedly cursed and raged. On his 19th pass, he managed to fire retro rockets and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, but the Soyuz 1's angle was not properly timed. As the spacecraft descended, the entangled parachutes failed to deploy. Soyuz 1 slammed near Orenburg on April 24, killing Komarov instantly. Nothing was left of the craft or his body but twisted metal, charred remains, and a chip of his heel. Komarov was honored with a state funeral in Moscow. The American astronauts requested that the Soviet government allow a representative to attend, but they were turned down. Komarov was awarded his Second Order of Lenin and also the Order of Hero of the Soviet Union. Before the mission, Komarov had requested an open casket funeral. It was a grim reminder of the dangers of early space travel. He was 40 when he died.